Today I'm going to visit uh, Casco Viejo and um, for that reason I looked out for a hotel closer to Casco Viejo like in a walking distance because I like to walk. Um, but I made a reservation for Hotel Doral. It's closer, it's quite close to Casco Viejo and I am really surprised. <clears throat> I paid about $25, which is, you know, three times nothing. Um, it's quite okay, it's old-fashioned, I don't care because, you know, I just stay here to sleep. But I have to uh, give you a little tour around because for $25, which is less than 20 euros, it's surprisingly well equipped. The entrance, this is a cupboard where you can put your clothes away. And this is the room. I mean, for only $25. It's crazy well equipped. I have even airco and a desk and even TV all for $25. This is crazy. And the view is quite okay. I know that not everybody will be uh, happy to see this, but for me, um, for now, the important thing is that I can sleep and that I have Wi Fi, which is very important for. A YouTuber or at least a starting YouTuber so uh, and it's close to Casco Viejo you know I can walk around all day and then come back in the evening the only um, negative thing about the um, Hotel Doral it's not the hotel itself because they're super friendly really super friendly but the area looks a little bit more dangerous than the area where I come from which was El Cangrejo I know that the district right to the um, Casco Viejo is a little more dangerous, but you know, I'm gonna have to figure out. But I'm loving this, so um, we we'll see each other in Casco Viejo. Add it up. Where I am now is not really Casco Viejo, it's just um, the district before. It looks very interesting, but a little dangerous at the same time. So, I made a few um, video clips, but I'm definitely not staying here. Uh, but it's, um, it's, an, it's an amazing area, because nature grows even out of the houses. This is Cafe Coca-Cola, which is um, very famous here in Panama because it's called Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola allows it, but it has nothing to do with Coca-Cola. So they know about it, but they allow the, the, the use of the label for the name of the cafe. I'm here in uh, Casco Viejo now, and I know that I'm filming with the sun behind me, which is not good. But the building behind me really impresses me. Roasters here in Panama in Casco Viejo, and uh, I have to be silent because you know there are other people here. I ordered a brownie and I ordered a geisha espresso. It's Panamanian coffee, and she explained something to me that I couldn't hear because she was wearing a mask. But uh, it looks super strong, so and it's even less than a, an espresso, so it's called corto. Uh, I'm very curious.
a little mix-up. Um, they charged me two coffees, maybe I didn't understand very well. So she took me out of the street and brought me back in and was offering me to refund me, but since I love coffee, I said, no, just give me a second coffee. And once I received my coffee, I actually received two more coffees because there were two people that were making um, my coffee. So she ended up being a, a, a little bit uh, upset, but not to me, you know. It was just, um, I explained to the barista that I paid for two coffees and I only received one, but at the same time, the girl that took me off the street was making another coffee as well. So, yeah. So, um, I am at Casco Viejo, which is the older part of the city, the original part of the city, but not in history, because that's on the other side of Panama, which I'm probably going to visit within a few days, but not today. This is called Casco Viejo, but the older part of Panama is the other side of Panama City. Um, so, this is how it looks like in Casco Viejo. And when I move a little bit around, this is the other part of Panama. How romantic is this? <laughs> but wait! Wait, 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 wait. I'm used to travel, but sometimes, you know, it's so amazing and I'm actually I've seen um, several videos about Panama but none are like very well documented or you always see the same locations so I try to make this better this is probably one of the benefits we have from the pandemic is that there is like almost no tourism so yeah you can only try to enjoy that if you don't know how the plaza is called it's the name is just behind me I just want to be in the picture of myself as well while we have a little and do you want to know what's behind me? Well the other part of Panama. I'm actually not standing on the sidewalk I'm like on a little platform where there used to be some sort of captain standing here watching over the sea
the islands behind me, um, one of them is called Naos Island and I forgot the names of the other islands. But I'm going to visit them, um, so you can see that in one of my videos and if the video is out already, you can see it somewhere coming up here or here. see over there that's Ankom Hill where you have like the highest located and biggest flag they have here in Panama um, one of these days I try to go there and visit the flag of Panama I'm uh, still in Casco Viejo. I found like a very, very tiny street, quite dark. I um, did a walk till the end of the of the small street, and it ends up on the beach. It's crazy. And just over there, you can see um, people play basketball. The atmosphere is really really crazy I'm loving this so much even the graffiti like you know beautiful <laughs> <laughs> 